you uh, welcome to my youtube channel again in the last video we have learned how to uh, trigger foreground notification when our application is running at foreground state so in this video we'll uh, create our server for using node.js so that uh, we can uh, trigger our uh, notification using node.js server so for this i had created simple folder for uh, notification server and let's open your terminal inside it let me maximize this screen first so I'm gonna use here npm in it hyphen y that will gonna create package JSON file uh, for this project so there you can see we had a package dot JSON file in it now uh, I need following dependency first first of all I'm gonna use uh, express and then uh, I have to use our uh, fetch so I'm going to use node hyphen fetch as well. So install both of uh, this uh, dependency, and then I'm I'm, I'm going to create a server.js file. So server.js inside it, uh, I'm going to just initialize the server using uh, express. So I'm going to take a variable const uh, express that will uh, equal to the required, and inside it I'm going to called express that we had installed so uh, later on I'm gonna use a const app that will hold the reference of express we had created above and then after I'm gonna use const call to which port I have to start the server so I'm gonna use process.env.port or uh, I'm gonna pass 5000 to it that's all uh, now, now I have to start the server so I'm gonna use app dot uh, listen and inside it first parameter I need to pass uh, the port number and second parameter should be a callback so for this I'm gonna use uh, an arrow function let's console uh, dot log server started save this one let's uh, try to run the server so first clear the terminal I'm gonna use uh, node space uh, server there you can see uh, in console our server has been started uh, I wrote the message so uh, next thing I have to uh, create one route for uh, the notification so for this I'm gonna create a new folder called the routes inside routes I'm gonna create another folder called the API and inside API I'm gonna create a file for notification dot js inside notification js um, I have to use const uh, express using ex express I'm gonna create the route uh, for uh, the API so that should be equal to require express also let's uh, bring node fetch so I'm gonna use uh, const uh, fetch that will equal to require node fetch now let's uh, create route so const uh, router that equal to the express dot uh, router save this one and uh, next thing uh, I have to use uh, like uh, router dot uh, dot I think it should be a method or uh, why it's not showing me any hint yeah it should be a method and I'm gonna use post method for this and uh, endpoint I'm gonna use like uh, send uh, send tool like uh, our file name is notification so I'm gonna use a notification slash uh, send tool and uh, I'm gonna use our request response and this should have an arrow function for this so let's uh, uh, first uh, before uh, going to trigger the notification first of all uh, uh, I had to set up the server for this like uh, to uh, which uh, I have to request for the notification so for this uh, I'm gonna use uh, the fetch that I'm use, uh, using the 
at line number of two uh, i have holding the reference of node fetch inside so inside fetch first of all i have to pass uh, the url to which i have to request then uh, after the url i need to use method like which type of method i have to use and i'm going to use post method for this and next thing i have to use headers so we'll uh, configure all of uh, the things let me initialize it with the blank object and uh, after header i need to pass uh, body as well and uh, let uh, remain body uh, empty for now so let's do our further configuration so first of all uh, like for the sending the notification uh, i'm going to use a variable for var, uh, notification that will hold uh, like uh, title or text of the notification so first one i'm going to use title inside it let's uh, give any title title of uh, notification and uh, after the title i have to use uh, text for notification oh. you can see it's a subtitle or uh, like uh, your body of notification so i have to use uh, text then uh, after initialize uh, the variable notification i need to uh, mention to which device i have to send the notification for this i'm, I'm going to use uh, fcm tokens like uh, we can send uh, notification to the particular device and it should be based on token and for if you want to uh, send uh, mul uh, notification to multiple devices then you can use multiple token uh, at a time as well so here i'm going to use uh, just a blank array for now as we grab the token from our device and we'll use it next thing i have to use for where notification underscore body and inside the body i have to pass notification inside notification i'm going to pass the reference of notification and uh, then registration underscore ids so inside registration i underscore ids i have to pass the reference of fcm tokens so that's all uh, we good to go now uh, let's uh, write the url so i'm going to use https and it should be fcm.google should be google apis dot com slash fcm slash send so that's uh, fine now inside the header i have to pass uh, the authorization key so i'm going to use here authorization and inside the key that will be equal to something i'm gonna uh, concat it with uh, another string so inside key let's move to your firebase server yeah for this one uh, you have to move over to uh, cloud messaging tab inside it you have to just copy your server key so inside of author author authorization you just need to uh, paste your server key here now uh, next thing i have to uh, set the content type so content type and i'm going to use here uh, application json application slash uh, json now that's uh, uh, fine we had completed uh, almost uh, all things uh, i need to now initialize the body of notification here i'm going to use json dot stringify inside it i'm going to pass the reference of notification body so uh, everything is fine till now then after uh, when the request has uh, been executed i'm going to use uh, then inside then it will hold an arrow function i'm going to use an arrow function or if there there any like dot then dot uh, i think uh, why it's not uh, showing me any hint if i done anything wrong uh, let me check once more 
it should be taught uh, I think it should find uh, in, in, yeah, spells was wrong and if there any error occur then uh, do something so if uh, our uh, Exec uh, response execute successfully then uh, I'm gonna use uh, rest dot uh, status and inside stated I'm gonna pass 200 and dot uh, send there you can send any message like uh, notification send uh, successfully and if there are any error occur I'm gonna pass uh, the status of 400 and uh, just co copy this line, paste it here, and uh, I have to use a notification. Uh, something went wrong. And in place of 200, I'm gonna pass the status of uh, 400, and let's uh, console uh, dot low the error if there are any error occur. And at last, let's find separate it with a semicolon and uh, for terminate this statement. That's fine. Now, let's last thing I need to export this so module dot exports and inside it I'm gonna pass the reference of router. So, uh, I need to bring uh, this in our server.js. So, just move to your server.js file inside it. I'm gonna use. Uh, app dot uh, use inside it i'm gonna use slash api slash notification and after that i'm gonna use require and after the require i have to pass uh, like the path of our files so i'm gonna use here routes slash api slash notification that's all now our uh, server is almost ready uh, only things uh, i need to uh, write the method to get uh, the token so just to move to uh, your push notification app.js file here I'm gonna use uh, like uh, get device token so I'm gonna comment it get token and for this I'm gonna just create an arrow function give it name of uh, get token should be equal to an arrow and uh, I'm gonna create it an async function it should be an uh, async function and inside it like uh, I'm gonna use const uh, firebase token is equal to something uh, await firebase uh, dot uh, messaging dot uh, it should be a method and after that, I have to use get token method. So that will help us to uh, get the token. And after that, uh, I'm gonna just uh, console dot log Firebase token. And let's uh, call this method at the time of uh, component did moment. Save this. Let's uh, npm run Android. It will take a couple of uh, settings uh, to run the program. There you can see our project has been uh, run successfully. So I have to just uh, grab the device token here and uh, just copy this token. Copy this one. And uh, next thing I have to move uh, to our server and inside service server in place inside notification I have to just uh, pass the uh, token here inside there paste device token here just uh, close this let's uh, start server now just uh, quickly jump to the postman and inside postman I'm using the API here send tool let's uh, trigger notification there you can see I, I have title of notification and subtitle of notification so uh, just uh, hit to that particular URL and make sure the type of your request like localhost 5000 and 
so uh, i'm successfully getting the notification so that's all for this video in next video uh, we'll speak about how to send uh, uh, notification to multiple devices uh, at a single time